Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Marlo's Upkeep Boutique. I'm gonna be doing tons of different things with every videos. I'm obsessed with watching people do their makeup, hair products, reviews, tutorials, everything like that. So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna jump on this bandwagon because I have things that I've used and didn't like and things that I've tried and realized when I look back, even in pictures, it's like, holy crow, what did I just, what was I thinking? I think we all have that in life. Um, it's gonna go from hair products to makeup to the way I do my makeup. Um, it's gonna be fun. This is my first video, very amateur. So just subscribe to me. There'll be a subscribe button below. Um, and we're just gonna watch how I progress and get better and better at doing this. Uh, I hate intros, I hate talking, um, for starters, with the thing. Uh, don't mind my hair, I'm really due for a haircut soon. Um, yeah, so let's just ignore that. Today I'm mostly focusing on my makeup routine, what I use, uh, I'll show you each product, um, and I could talk about ones that I've, I've tried, did not like, I kinda actually just toss all them, I should've kept them before I, realized I was going to start doing this video. So, okay. Um, trust me for Christmas. I have asked my husband, he doesn't know yet that I want one of those circle lamps. I don't know what they're called. My son is actually, he's 14. He's way better at this stuff. So he's going to be like editing my videos. So, um, cross your fingers. This is going to be like a family thing that we're doing. Um, I'm not a professional makeup artist, which I wish I was. Um, I say I'm um a lot, so I just want to get on and I have my little mirror. So you might see me looking on this side because it's like magnifying, which I need because I don't want to be like crazy close like this. Um, so here we go. I first thing, your face is your canvas. That's number one. It's not just because I watch it in blogs and YouTube and everything else. It is a true story. Uh, especially I know I'm 37 so as I'm aging I'm noticing I do need to take better care of not only my skin but what I put in my body so I know if I'm eating tons of greasy food and junk my hair is going to start getting greasier my face is going to be like a sloth of grease by the end of the day uh, so that's number one at night I've always I'll do a tutorial actually how I clean my face with my makeup, like slopping my makeup off. Maybe I'll do the, another second video tonight to actually show you because it look, I look like a raccoon. It's crazy, but it benefits my face. I'll get more into that in the next video because um, I'm going to start steering clear of what I want to focus on now. So this morning what I did was I, I did wash my face. I do an oil cleanse. Everybody has their own way and products that they use for their oil cleansing. I've been doing my oil cleansing for years the same way, um, and it's fantastic. After that, I do once a week, I'll do a either exfoliant or some type of mud uh, mask. I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't use a whole lot of high-end products. Some things I do, some things I don't. I like a lot of drugstore, and I do do my research, and I do look at videos of like your top 10 and what ones are constantly repeating themselves as like, this is like underestimated. Like they should put more, you know, um, more hype on some of this stuff because it's affordable and using that compared to your high end Ulta or Sephora, I don't notice a difference, um, except price. So it's like a budget friendly, um, thing. But before I begin, um, so I've, I've done that. Let me show you how, what product I use to exfoliate my skin this morning. Um, it's Saturday, so I did a lot of cleaning with his face. My kids thought I looked like a crazy. This is by um, Freeman Beautiful. It's a gel mask scrub. I've actually had this, been using this product for about two years. A little goes a long way. It's for all skin tones. It deto wait, detox pores, exfoliates, and smooth skin. This is like... If I know, especially if I'm going on like a date night with my husband and I really want my makeup to be like on point, I will do my oil cleansing. I'll do this puppy. Uh, after I do that, I will, I'll show you what I do next, but it will make my makeup go on like butter. 
Um, and it almost looks like a matte photo finish. Little filtering, because we know we all do filters. We're guilty of it. It's the sign of the times. But yeah, this is very affordable. Got it, I probably got it at Walmart. Um, it's gritty, it's, uh, it's black when you put it on your face. I leave it on for sometimes like 20 minutes and I tend to forget about it until I'm like, whoa, but it has charcoal and black sugar. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. It's good for my face. But you're gonna, I'll tell you the whole reason about this area in about two seconds. Cause you're gonna probably think like, she says she takes care of her face, but what's going on, you know, there. So that's that. I know I'm out of view. I should have been more prepared. Sorry, it's life, I'm a mom. Okay, so for right now, I've been using this, can you see, uh, the serum. I actually got this in my Ipsy bag. I'm guilty of that. That's where I get a little bit high in products. Um, I can't even honestly pronounce half the words on this little sucker, but it comes out, um, it's not clear like a gel serum. It's kind of like a light white. I'll put some, I've already put this on my face, so I don't want to do it again. It's kind of like that. Um, again, a little goes a long way. I, get, um, I don't want to play on my face. But I use this, um, especially at night before I go to bed, because you're, I feel like when you see how I do my oil cleansing, my pores are like wide open and I get this stuff in my pores before they clam shut. Uh, okay, so I don't, I've done that. So that's what I've done so far. Um, I am gonna remove my glasses because I can't really obviously do my makeup with glasses on and I can't see and bear with me when I have to find something. Again, I don't do this professionally. Um, this is just something fun I wanna do because I, I think I watch more YouTube videos than I watch TV when I'm in bed when the kids are asleep. And especially if I know I'm, I'm wanting new makeup and my face is changing either for the season or for my age. Um, the reason for all the acne Number one tip I tell a lot of people, and people are shocked to know, I'm not a doctor, but when you break out down here on your chin, it's you for women, it's usually, and I guess probably boys and guys too, it's hormonal. Um, I'm going to have a whole other thing about that, but in a nutshell, I'm starting the treatments of going through menopause. Yes, I'm young, and in my other videos, you'll see, you'll hear my story and why I'm at the point of where I'm at. So right now I'm taking medication that's putting me through menopause. I've been on it for a few days, uh, and one of the side effects is this. My hormones are like cray-cray, and they're angry, and they are letting me know that by going all over my face and my chin. But you'll be amazed at my, my makeup routine that kind of hides it, I feel. I mean, we're all not perfect in this world. So, all right. I'm gonna get started on my makeup. Let's talk, because that kind of annoys me sometimes too when I'm watching. I'll fast forward, but it's my first video, so I wanted you to get to know me, Marlo. Um, all right, so we're just gonna jump right into it. So again, you're gonna see me looking off to the side a lot because I need it because I'm blind as a bat. Uh, if, if you've truly seen, I can't even show you in the video, I will one day, how retro old this mirror is. It's got a little light on the bottom. When I bought it, I thought it was the ring kind. No, but I'm keeping it because it magnifies exactly what I need. So I started off, um, I got to work on my arms. I hate that. It's a, okay. Anyway, this is new, brand new. I got it. I've been using it for about two weeks. I love it. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Very affordable. I got this at CVS for about $8. It feels like silk. I've already prepped my face with it. Um, this morning, like I just, I just did it before I started my video. I put it all over my face. I know some people just want it here where your pores and minimize your pores. This sets like the best, like uh, foundation for your foundation. The way I describe this, when I first started using primers, when they came out big, like years ago, um, it's almost like take a road that's bumpy and they go to pave it. If you're gonna pave a road, you have to prep those holes Otherwise, you're going to still have those divots within the road. This is kind of like filling in those holes. And it's going to make your color true to what it is. And I will show you examples on my hand of how it truly works um, as far as when you start using your palette forms of your shadows and that. Um, another e.l.f. product, which I'm about to do, is my foundation. This one is Flawless Finish Foundation. Again, around $8 CVS. It was kind of right below the primers. 
Uh, I don't know. This one is natural. Um, I'm just going to show you the code because there's a lot of codes. Let's see. Zoom in. Oh, come on now. There we go. So that's my shade right now because it is right before Christmas. My tan has unfortunately started to go away. So the foundation I was currently using was starting to make me look orange. And I had to start using a lighter hand on my bronzers because I still do use bronzers as my kind of overall finish. So this brush, um, it's just a, a just an angle brush. I probably my niece gave me. She didn't want any more. Um, but I like how it has a tighter. I know people have the Kabuki brushes, which I'm actually kind of interested in getting for my foundation. But I put like two or three pumps. And again, I'm not a professional, so I'm sure there's criticism. People, I know people like their damp, dry, spongy thingies. I've used them. I personally don't like the way that makes it look. It just, I feel like I, I don't, I just don't like it. Some people use their hands, which is great, which I've done for like years until I started using this brush. It took a while for me to get adjusted to it, but I like it. So you're going to see, I got a lot of redness happening. It's actually very bumpy from this uh, medication, but there's nothing I can do about it. So um okay here we go so i just kind of start by i'll try to hit my mirror i try to dab it and then i'll start getting into like the sweeping i do the three pumps for me personally half of my face first i go over my eye i still i'm gonna use a eyeshadow primer I know I'm sorry, I'm trying to face the mirror so you can see. And I always go under my jawline, near my ear. But this one is actually like the best match I've had for my skin. It's not too light, it's not too dark. But I would rather preferably go, if I had to, a shade lighter because I could always bump it up with my bronzer. So you'll see this side better. The one thing I do need to get is a, conce a concealer. Um, from under my eyes when my eyes kind of have that darkness around it But this is actually doing pretty good. I feel for right now There's days, you know, because I go to work every day. So I wear makeup um, I just want my skin to breathe And I did notice when you do use your um, Going back to my primer you can't like, you know, a little goes a long way. I've noticed you know when you get something new, you like you go all in. You use tons of it because you're excited. Uh, the lesson I learned about that, it, it will feel a little like, you'll know, like it'll feel a little bit too much. This one is weightless as well as the foundation, but you can go a little cray cray in the beginning. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm sorry I'm not facing my camera. Hopefully, okay, this is now getting in my way. If you guys have any other like tips as I'm doing this, just let me know below. I take criticism well. Okay. So that's my foundation coverage. I feel it is it's buildable. It wears great. So as you can see, it literally has pretty much almost took all that redness away. Obviously, you can still see bumps, but you know, again, we're human. It's life. Uh, it's hormones. Can't do nothing about that. All right, so after I do that, I should put this stuff in front of me. I'm sorry, I'm blind. I'm going to have to bring my stuff up to me. Next time, I'm going to be a little bit more prepared. So I appreciate you guys if you're still watching. I know I'll get thumbs down because I suck sometimes. Um, and there are products I have I haven't tried. So maybe I'll do that one day. Um, we're kind of tested out together. Sorry guys, bear with me. I'm trying to find my um, eye primer. And you might go in a different, totally different order than I do, but this is, I'm showing you my personal routine. So I'm sure if you feel I'm not doing it right, you can let me know why, but this is how I've been doing it for years. So, um, okay. So my eye primer, even though I prime, when I do prime my face, I do, use my overall face primer on my eyelids but this is kind of like just another little bonus backup it's by smashbox 24 hour uh photo finish shadow primer and this one i will definitely show you on my hand the difference of using a primer and not 
I used to think for my eyeshadow, and you literally don't need a whole lot for your shadow, or for your, for your eyelids. Um, I'm like, nobody's gonna care. And I go all the way up to my brow. And the weird thing I do is I do this first, then I'll, I'll do my mascara and then I'll go back and do my shadow. And I know some people don't like that because they don't like the little flaky things falling on their lashes. But that's a risk I take. But I feel since I've been using this, it helps stick. So let me show you the difference between using it and not using it. Today I'm, I'm picking out my eyeshadow for today, which I want it to be purple. I tend to use purple a lot. Okay. So this is by Alternate Rock. I am in love with this brand. This is called, what one's this called? Volume One Shadow Fade. All right. Take, take it for granted. Can we zoom in? Come on. It says take it for granted. I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this focus thing. Um, it's got, it's very metallic. As you can see, it's metallic, it's purple, it's shimmer, glittery. Um, so here I'm going to show you a total difference. And I'm going to use the same amount as um, the primer as I would have on my eye. So you don't think I'm overusing product to think like, oh, like, okay, that was a little, a little scam there. This is my all my brushes, which I do have individual uses for. So here's here's the um, difference. So this is going to be, where did I put it? I could tell because it's smooth. So I don't know if you can see. That's without. And then this is with. Can you see a total difference? There we go. Boom. Right there. That's the one that has been primed. There's one down here. I'll even do it on that angle. That has not. That is a major difference and it'll make things pop. So if you didn't believe me, then maybe you'll believe me now. If you don't want to use it, that's your preference, not mine. Okay. All right, so I do my eyelashes first. I'm gonna be using um, Beach Waterproof Mascara. Come on, zoom. Focus, focus, there we go. Uh, it's almost out. So what I did, I did add a couple of drops of contact solution, not the kind that like has those little bubbly things because your eyeball would be like totally um, burning. I don't know if it really worked. I'm almost out and I just felt like it was starting to dry out. Okay. I'm going to move this out of my way for a minute. I appreciate you guys watching. If you're still watching, I know I talk a lot, but I feel sometimes you just need, you need to know. I do have other ways I do my mascaras. This is kind of for like my everyday. Now, if it was a day night, I'd be to doing it totally different. Now you see how I got some on my eyelid. I will show you like an easy way. I'm gonna check this for a minute. Uh, easy way to take that off. I'm sorry guys. I, I hate when you just see the side of someone's ear because they're looking somewhere else and you're like, what are they doing off camera that I'm not seeing? That's not fair. But I'm literally just getting it right up in there on my lash line. I'm doing little jiggles. And sometimes I'll like get like a big leg. Like, I'll bang it on the side of my face and I don't stress because you'll see why. I do the bottom lid. Some people don't. Um... It's again, all about preference. I'm 
definitely hard to do on a phone. So for Christmas, I have definitely asked my husband to get me some stuff because he knows I want to make these videos because I think they're fun and I have so much in life to talk about. So I'm kind of just doing one coat. But trust me, I love a long lash. Um, even though some people call it like a spider web lash. Mm -mm, I'm all about that. I'm going to put a second coat on just because I know this one is like um, drying up on me. Bear with me, guys. And I'm not big on waterproof mascara, but this one, sorry, this one I love. All right, so I'm going to do the other eye. Same way. Here, I'll come closer. I know people like to use eyelash curlers. Uh, they heat them up. They say it works. Maybe that'll be something I'll try one day. Because I've seen people do it and I'm like, whoa. And I've probably had one I probably threw it away. I have pretty nice lashes. Um, they're not crazy long, but they're not crazy short either. Do my bottom, but do you see? I can already see how I've got the top of my eyelid. Same thing with the bottom, I nick it all the time, I'm used to it, but I have like my little tricks. I did go to cosmetology school, we didn't really learn a whole lot of makeup, and we did, it was nothing that was like in trend. Um, but I'd like to a lot of people. I do make a pe uh, for people. I've done um, a couple of my friends' weddings. I've given tips and tricks to people. Um, you know, I like to help people. So that's why I figured. Let me do this. All right. So I think that's good for my eyelashes. Maybe I'll do one more coat on top. Okay, and this is like... This might even be my last use for this little tube. Okay. Honestly, in the summertime, this is almost all I do because I'm in the summer. I do not like wearing makeup because it's so hot. But we'll talk about that in the summer. All right, so here's my tricks. Q-tip. And because I've already applied that um, primer, it kind of makes getting that schmutz off the top of your lid way easier. So let me move this sucker out of the way. So, and now I'm pulling my eyelid. And it literally like erases like butter. Sometimes it's like here. I don't tend to worry about it because I'm going to be doing an eyeliner. Anyway, uh, we always want to get the corners because you kind of all got like nasty junk in there. I'm not going to lie. If you say you don't, then you're in denial. I kind of just go underneath. Make sure if anything like dropped or settled, it kind of gets it out of the way. And these are just Q-tips from Walmart. The one thing I will not get, I mean, people might um, criticize me for it. It's not because it's a dollar store. I love the dollar store. But Q-tips I've gotten at the dollar store, they like, they aren't, the little cotton things aren't so packed. And when I use them, it's like the cotton is getting so caught up in my eyelashes. I'll use them for like my ears or something. I won't use them for my makeup. 
So that's just, again, my personal preference. Okay, again, so I've already prepped my, my eyelid um, with my primer. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeshadow. Again, it's called Take It For Granted, if you're just tuning in. My favorite eyeshadow, it's my go-to, especially because I have brown eyes. Um, now this is more of like a day kind of look. I'm not doing any of, you know, date, like, you know, date night kind of um, shadowing. I could definitely do videos on that. I love doing those. I love how it looks on me. I like doing it on people. This I got from an Ipsy bag, by the way. So if you want to know where to get them, it's from the bomb company. It could be at CVS for all I know. I'm not sure. Um, I love Ipsy bag. If you don't get Ipsy bags, it's like $10 a month. And you get all kinds of cool stuff. Some better than others, but So maybe I'll do like tutorials on my monthly Ipsy bag when I'm using like a new product from there. Cause sometimes it's like, mm, wasn't really fond of that one. All right, now for my eyeliner. I used to use the liners that, first I've used pencils, then I've, but I am like totally obsessed with liquid liners. I think it makes my life go by so much faster, especially when I'm on the go, I'm up, before my three kids getting ready for work, before I'm getting them ready for school. This little sucker, his dummy wonders. It's Alta, Alta Beauty Chubby Felt Tip Liner in Black. Zooming in there. Um, it almost looks like a like the thickest marker you could ever see. I have shaken it to where like blobs of it came out. I'm like, whoa. So I try not to do that. Um, I'll give it a little shake if I think it needs it. Let me try to do one here so you can see how I do it. I know we're not supposed to pull the lid because it'll age, but it's just what I do. I go up on an angle. Oops. Sometimes it's a little thicker than I wanted and I just, I'm, ah. Oh. Of course that's gonna happen. You know why? Because I'm doing it on my phone. So another check. Get over it. I did it. This comes off pretty well. <laughs> um it could always be fixed. Life happens, right? Okay, let me fix this real quick. Yep, I put it in my mouth. Dampen it. I'm not damping it with water. Now I would not do that like on a like if I was doing my friend's makeup. What I'm gonna do is let me do my liner. I'm gonna go back and fix that with my. Um, it's just different doing it on the phone. My depth perception is a little off. What I do is I'm going in on an angle and going up. And I go right up against that lash line. I can still see my little mistake. But I'll fix it. And then I do the bottom. I'm gonna do this with my mirror because I don't wanna mess up my bottom. You'll see it better when I do this side. I don't do the bottom harsh. I do it relatively light. I do not do my waterline on the bottom. I think for me, it looks too harsh. It bleeds. And I only go to like almost the center of my pupil. Um, I don't go like from corner to corner. 
Personally for me, I think it looks too harsh. It looks like it ages me sometimes. Maybe I'll do a little something different if it's like a date night and I want more dramatic, but not today. Um, but even then, very rare will that happen. And I'm sorry. Like my hands are so in the way and you can't see. Again, I go right up against that lash line. So there is no gap. I don't do big wings here. Um, I've never been like a pro at it. I know people like, uh, can, that one looks like perfect. Um, but the whole cat eye, even if it's a subtle one, I've just never mastered it. I've watched so many videos, tried it, and it's never been successful. And even when I've had people do it on me, I just don't like the way it looks on me. My eyes slant down. So when I do this, I feel like at least I'm still bringing my eye on that, that up angle. Just checking to make sure. Cause sometimes I'll see there's like a small gap. Sometimes I don't even realize it till like I'm taking my makeup off. I'm like, Oh my Lord Jesus. I've been walking around like that all day. See, there's another one. Again, it's your personal preference and it's eyeliner. No pun intended, I just wing it sometimes. So I'm still seeing that one little smudge that I did. I'm not stressing about it because I'm gonna fix it. How is it I just did my eyeshadow and I've just like already, like my bag has like swallowed it up. So, somebody's not gonna be at the door. What? I don't have home. Nope. All right, so I put a little bit of eyeshadow. Uh, I can still faintly see it. Suck her out of the way. My daughter was asking if I was done in here. With her. She wants to play on my phone. Now it does not normally take me 30, what are we at, 32 minutes already? It does not take me this long to do my makeup. It's because I'm talking, I'm trying to do so, and I'm trying to do like my best dish so you guys could see, but my depth perception, especially when I do my eyes is like so bad. So I'm trying, bear with me. All right, now this is like my fun, easy part. Yeah, so I, okay, here's my tips for this. Um, I have lighting above me and I have a lighting I have lighting like behind me and I usually will have lighting right above me. And this is when I'll shut the lighting above. You're going to see the difference. Look how like washed out I've became because of these, these lights right here. So again, 